Well, there goes the last of the blue sky, looks like. The storm front is rolling in. We've got all gray clouds to the south. And Vigo on his spot while protecting the neighborhood. Right, folks well the big storm hit but did we get six to twelve inches I'd say we barely got six and I'm a little bit later in the day so I think a lot of it has compressed with the Sun so it's looking more about like four inches if you could look at Vigo's bed right there so we didn't get that big blast that the winter storm warning was warning us about but uh, we got more coming on Monday. So that's gonna be another one to watch. Sometimes we get those surprise storms. They say just a few inches and then we get the 10 to 12 inches. But I'd say one thing different about this year so far, as far as the winter weather goes, it has been really mild for the most part. You know, we do get those cold windy days, but for the most part, it's been really mild. And the other thing is that all of our snowstorms have been less than 10 inches of snow. So we haven't had any of those really big one foot, two foot, three foot storms, which we've had the last three years. And we haven't had anything like that yet. So I was wondering if last night was gonna be like that, but otherwise it's just really pretty looking. And it, the sun is super warm right now. It's really nice to be outside. The only thing that we're watching for is, you can see in the distance on the trees up there, Later in the day, it's predicted the wind is supposed to kick up. So that might cause some drifting and we'll have a little bit of a windy day uh, also tomorrow. The next thing that's coming at us is the snow on Monday. They're, they are calling for snow Tuesday, Wednesday and cold temperatures, our first real cold snap that we'll see um, single digit and below zero overnight. So we have had a couple days like that, but we've got a little bit more coming next week. So. That is the story for the winter storm. And right now I've got a dog who's really looking forward to playing in the snow. You wanna play snowballs? Come on, let's go. Let's play. Let's go. You wanted to play with me. Let's go and see. Pat, it's hard to make a snowball with this. Not really all the way moist. Go, let's go. Go on, Wackies. It's really deep snow, isn't it? It's really deep. Yeah. Come on, we're going this way. What's the matter? Too deep? Come on, we're going to this way. Stopping right here because it looks like bobcat prints. Vigo. Oh, Vigo. You and your stick. Vigo, what are you doing? And while it's fun playing in the snow, it's not all fun in games. We still have a little bit of work to do, and that has to do with staining and polyurethaning the boards. You know, nobody wants to do staining indoors or polyurethaning indoors. You just don't because of the fumes, but 
we actually have a workaround and you do what you have to do in the winter. You know, we're not, it's not always conducive here to be working outside, especially when you have below zero wind chills and snow blowing and it's just not pleasant. So we make use of our basement area to do these kind of things. But fortunately for us, we've been able to partner with TCL brand and they've sent us their air purifier. They're a small home air purifier and it's actually worked out really well for us. So right now the fan is off and I left the plastic on here so you could sort of see the, uh, the names of all of the symbols. So this is the on off switch. This is the fan speed mode, the timer, uh, even has an anion feature, which I think is going to be helpful for keeping static clean down and child lock filter air quality that will light up red if the air quality is bad. So turning it on, I've got it on full speed for fan mode. So a little bit loud, but for full speed, not too, too bad. But if I take it down to automatic, it'll automatically detect if the air quality is bad and then kick up to a higher speed. If you started off on speed one, you can't even really hear it. This could be a good background for you. And right now the furnace is louder than the fan speed. So if I kick it up to fan number two, you can kind of hear it a little bit, um, but I put it on four speed while we were actually doing the polyurethane. So just want to thank TCL company for sending this to us because it definitely helped us out keeping the fumes out of our home and keeping the headaches out and letting us get some work done. So I'll put a link in the video description if you guys want to check it out. Sometimes these units really come in handy if you've got pets and you got a lot of dander and you got a lot of uh, you know, we have a lot of fur and dander all the time, so it helps take care of that. But definitely for quick instances when you have to work inside in the winter, using a air purifier will help you so you um, to make this experience a lot more enjoyable. What you making? I'm uh, getting ready to put the face frames together for the two cabinets on my end. These two I'm going to put together ahead of time and then just nail them to the cabinet. Mm -hmm. All the other ones I'm going to put, just nail them as pieces. But these are standard. These are both the same size and everything's pretty standard on it. So Yeah. Yep. So I'm going to do the pocket screws and all that kind of stuff. Wait a second, what is going on there? It looks like someone did it That's measure twice. I measured like 20 times, that's the problem. Hmm. Should I put it there or should I put it on the bottom? Put it on the bottom because no one's gonna see the bottom. just a little bit. They're too tight on the counter. Because mm. I have to be able to slide this over. 
Oh. Yeah. What I learned doing this was it was it was hard to measure, make sure this was right where it needed to be, and that one. So I put the top one in only, and then these are loose, so then I can come in and oh, yeah. mark yeah. right where they need to go. Yeah. And then, uh, plus, I'm gonna have to uh, plane these off a little bit because <laughs> this one is like an eighth of an inch too thick. Mm -hmm. So to, to bring that out, there'll be then be a, big, a space behind it. So. I'll put it all together and then I can plane it. Nice. Okay. okay. Give me the kitchen licky. Alright. Gonna start cutting uh, shelves for the uh, the closet. Uh, hopefully I have enough wood. And uh, hopefully I don't have to play with Vigo too much. Right? Because we know you like snowballs or sticks. Put the stick, stick, stick. Okay. All right, well, with the face framing getting fit wrapped up, the shelving is another piece that's got to go into the closet unit, all the different pieces. And there's a few different widths of shelves because there was a couple of different sizes of uh, cubby holes. Yep. So, so we've got a uh, 17 and a half by 11 and a quarter and then a 14 and a quarter by 12 and 7 eighths. So. Yep. Had enough plywood to get all but two of the shelves done. So that's not too bad. Yeah, not bad. They leave those upper shelves off and I don't even notice the difference. So <laughs> that's going to go high end. Brian's going to add some edge banding. Okay. Yeah, so right now if you uh, put the shelf in, even though it'll be stained, you'll still see the plies of the, of the plywood. So I have edge banding. So this cool. gets ironed on to the outside and then you just kind of sand it, uh, the edges a little bit. So it's, this is about three quarters of an inch. This is just over three quarters so that you can just sand it down. They probably make some kind of little scrapey tool to take that little mm. uh, edge off. But so we'll just uh, uh, iron them on with the...
The glue is getting on the sandpaper. <laughs> Yes, I'm all done with the face frame. Okay. So one piece, which I'm going to put the holes for the other shelf pegs. Oh, okay. And then I'll nail that on. Oh, okay. So. Let's take a look. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's see. Oh, yeah. A little touch of paint in a few spots. And The fun part will be filling them, right? All yeah. those shelves. Look at all that empty space you have. Oh yeah, plenty of room. So I'm gonna put a board. Put I'm gonna put a floor. Cause there's a hole here. Yeah. So I'll put a piece of plywood on top of this and then I'll make a nice floor for that cupboard there. Okay. And then I just need a trim piece for right there. Mm -hmm. But you're thinking one more one more feature would be to add some doors to the upper cabinets. Yep. And then once we get that lighting, it'll be all the way done. That's what that tapes for is for the doors. Right. Yep. And the sun is setting on a wonderful weekend. It was so mild, it's hard to believe that the next few days might turn the corner for our winter weather again. 52 degrees today. Yeah, it was super nice. Easy for Brian to cut wood outside yes. for sure. But uh, definitely a lot of work done on finishing up the closet and just a couple little detail pieces left, really. Yep. But, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> the, the exciting part will be in the next three days what this next winter storm is going to bring. It sounds like lots of snow and really, really cold temperatures. So we'll definitely keep you guys posted on that. Maybe we'll see some more fun animal tracks in the woods. Yeah. Maybe some ski video next week. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. Yeah, following me. You coming? What's the matter? Is the snow too deep? Come on, let's go. 